in today's video we are going to be creating an amazing poster design for almond milk grab your mouse as we dive in first and foremost we are going to create a new document choose a solid color with the solid color in place we are going to create a new layer grab a soft hand brush so we are going to set foreground to this S code right here. Opacity is set to 100. Hardness is 0. Then we click once. With the layer selected. We are going to set the blend mode to overlay. Create a new layer. Grab a soft hand brush. So we are setting the foreground to white. And we click once. We are going to create another solid color. Copy this hex code right here. With a mark selected, we are going to grab a soft hand brush. Opacity is 100. Then we are setting our foreground to black because we are going to erase. Then you make a few clicks. With the layer in place, we are going to set the blend mode to multiply. Con with the layer selected, Ctrl J to make a copy. Now let's grab our asset for this tutorial. So I'm going to hold down Shift and select these two items and copy them. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. I'll go ahead and copy the other items. So I'm going to select these two, hold shift and select the two, control C to copy, control V to paste. Then I'm going to arrange and position this properly. So I'm going to copy this item, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Then we are just going to drop the layer. We are going to create a curves adjustment layer. Reduce the opacity. With the layer selected, we are going to create a max. Zoom in and reduce the opacity. So we are going to be maxing out this portion. With the pen tool, you are going to create a selection. You right click and make a selection. Once we have our selection, then we are going to select any of the marquee tool. Right click and we are going to fill it with the foreground color black. Ctrl D to dig select. So with the pen to select, we are going to create another selection and we are going to max out this port as well.
So we're going to create a curves adjustment layer clipped onto this layer. We are going to create another curves adjustment layer and that's not enough. With the layer in place, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer. With the max selected, control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush. We are going to reduce the opacity. Set foreground to white. Reduce the bar size by the left bracket key and we are going to be painting some shadows. With this layer selected, we are going to create a curves adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer with the max selected Ctrl I to invert. We we'll grab a soft hand brush and we are going to be painting some shadows. So foreground is set to white and we are going to be painting some shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer with a max selected Ctrl I to invert. This time around we are painting highlights. With this layer selected, we are going to be applying shadows and painting some shadows here. But let's select this layer, this layer right here. Create a max. With the max selected, we are going to grab the polygonal lasso tool. And we are just going to create a selection and max out this portion. So we are going to finish with the background color this time because the background is black. Anything painted in black is going to hide. Ctrl D to the select. Then we can actually bring back this layer and paint some shadows. So we are going to create a curves adjustment layer. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Clipped onto the layer with the max selected Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft tone brush. Foreground is set to white. And we are going to be painting some shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer with a max selected Ctrl I to invert. So we are going to be painting some shadows. This one is for highlight with a max selected Ctrl I to invert. And we are just going to reduce the opacity. Then we are going to paint some lights right here. So I'm going to be speeding up the rest because we are just going to be repeating the same process and it's actually boring to be watching the same process over and over again.
with this layer selected, Ctrl J to make a copy. With the mark selected, right click and delete the marks. With the layer selected, we are going to create a new marks. Grab the gradient tool. Foreground is set to black and background is white. So we are going to select our gradient preset right here. Then we are just going to drag this way. With the layer in place, we are going to select the marks. Grab a soft hand brush. We are going to increase the opacity a bit. Foreground is still set to black. Right click and we are going to change the roundness. So we are just going to change the roundness and we can create some lightning at the bottom right here. So we are just going to paint some light around here and reduce the opacity. Now we are going to be creating some contact shadows. You create a new layer, grab a soft hand brush. Opacity is set to 100. Then we are going to adjust the roundness again. Foreground is set to black. So let's head over to the brush settings and we are going to adjust the roundness right here. Roundness is set to 11. Create a new layer and you click once. Create a new layer. Then you click once. So we are going to be creating some contour shadows and take care of the opacity layer. I actually separate the layers from my contour shadow so that I can be able to transform and manipulate them anytime. Now we are just going to match the color for this and we are going to apply camera roll. Once everything is in place, we are just going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert to smart object. And we are going to apply camera or so filter, camera or filter. And we are just going to be playing with all these settings until we like the outcome. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Till next time, stay creative.